Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Uh, hey, it's Friday. That's incredible, isn't it? We made it through another week. Wonderful. Um, I like Fridays just because I've been, I finally get, um, you know, where I can get some stuff done here at home. Usually Saturday, Sunday. And depending on what I get on. Sometimes I have stuff going on on weekends too, and I don't get as much accomplished as I'd like. But, eh, that's how it is. Uh, anyhow, I'm here to share some things that I got today. Uh, it's not like an unboxing video. This is just a, you know, I got paid this week. I kept a little bit of money out, you know, after I did my responsible thing, paid all my bills. Actually, my the Parents Plus loan for my daughter's college um, started a repayment this month, and I just got my email the first invoice um, payment was going to be due on the 13th so I went ahead and um, I'm like three months ahead on my my mortgage payment so I went ahead and paid the first bill um, for the parents plus loan and uh yeah it it, it was kind of hefty but I went in and, and tried to change the repayment options to I don't know, I'll pay more on interest to be a long for a longer period of time, but it'll make the monthly payments a little more manageable so uh, me and my daughter's mother can, you know, split in the bill. We can keep up on payments. But I decided to go out today and uh, I uh, actually went in Dollar Tree and happened, I was, I forget what exactly. Oh, I went in there to get some cookies. Uh, for something I'm going to make, hopefully over the weekend. But I uh, went through it, and they seen they just restocked the Hot Wheels there. So I was going through, and you know, the Dollar Tree is a great place to go and get Hot Wheels because not a lot of people go in there to look through the Hot Wheels like they do at at you know your other your bigger name like department stores. Uh, so I went in at the right time, found a bunch of them that I uh, I don't have, um, so I bought some. Uh, and then I went into Walmart and, and to get a couple of things and uh, coffee. You know, it's getting cold, so I need to get some new whole bean coffee so I can start fixing some coffee when it's cold outside. I can't just drink coffee during the summer. I don't know. It is just, it's just too fucking hot. Um, but yeah, so of course I went down and, uh, you know, looked through their Hot Wheels, found a few there that I wanted to get. And then I end up going to uh, FYE because um, the, the one here in Pickle, Ohio, I don't know whether it's like nationwide or whether it's just the one here in Pickle or whatever, but they're essentially going out of business. They have everything 30 to 50% off. Um, and from what I heard, the guys working there, they said that they don't have an exact date yet, but it's going to be sometime in January when they basically, you know, close up the doors. Uh, and it's a shame because, I mean, that mall, the mall that they're located at used to be, I mean, there used to be a lot to that mall. And now you got, I mean, they still got some good stores in there. And uh, they got a collect, they got, a S, I think it's called SC Collectibles, which is pretty good. They got a lot of sports stuff. Um, they got a couple, of, they got Finish Line, you know, their shoes. Um, they got Nirvana. Yeah. I mean, there's some, some, still some small, decent stores in there, but like all the big, the anchors of the mall are, are going out. I heard, I just recently heard Sears is uh, going to be closing up over there too. So, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do with that, you know, when they lose all those, you know, all those anchor stores, but you know, I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, anyway, I went in there because I wanted to go in and look at FYE and see, you know, what Funko Pops in there. I mean, they have a shit ton of Funko Pops in there. Um, like I said, 30 for... 30 to 50 percent off so if you're a collector of Funko Pops I would go to FYE and at the uh, Miami Valley Center Mall in Pickle, Ohio and uh, you can get some good deals on the Funko Pops right now but anyhow before I dive into showing you what what Funko Pops and what Hot Wheels I got I want to talk just a little bit about Hot Wheels and I, this kind of applies to Funko Pops too um, because a lot of people look at it as, you know, they're, they're toys. 
That's what they are. They're toys. And at their base, yeah, they are. They're toys. Um, they're designed for, you know, for mainly that person. At least, I think nowadays it's probably split about 50 50. I, I mean, as much as they're designed to be toys and, you know, meant for, you know, kids to open up and play with, um, there's enough of a market for it with older people as collectors that I think a lot of them they do design with that in mind. And a lot of people. I don't think actually take the minute to think about um, Hot Wheels beyond them just being toys. See, I'm you know I'm an artist. You can tell you know I've always been in an art, um, and not just like illustration and painting and stuff like that. Like you know stuff you do in like art classes, um, but just art in general. I mean, from you know all kinds of design to you know doing stuff around my house. To like woodworking, sculpture, um, you know, customizing cars. You know, every car I've had, I've ended up doing something to it to kind of give it my own touch. And I mean, that's kind of a, a form of art. Even even cooking. I mean, cooking is essentially a form of art, and it's fucking delicious. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, but because of that, when I look at Hot Wheels, I don't just I don't see them as toys. Because I see, you know, the amount of detail in these little cars is just off the charts. And then, being, you know, kind of the abstract mind that I am, I think even beyond that, I look at and realize just what goes into making this $1 or 99 cent toy that you buy. Um... Just when you look at the sheer number of Hot Wheels that they come out with, different Hot Wheels. I mean, I don't know the exact number, but I mean, it's literally thousands upon thousands of Hot Wheels that they've had since they came out in like the 1950s. Um, unbelievable. And then when you look at, you know, each one of those started out as art. You know, every car, even today. Every time they bring out a new one, that's, I mean, especially ones that are, that are completely new, something they've never done before, because a lot of them are repeats, you know, some of them are mainstays that they've had in, in incarnation or a version of that Hot Wheel, you know, in every series, essentially every year that they bring out a series, which is basically every year, um, you know, like the school bus or the fire truck, I think it's actually called Fire Eater is what they call the the, the name of the, the fire truck but you know each one comes out each series and it's always just a little bit different but even especially the ones that are all brand new you know they started out as a conceptual drawing probably by a few different people and those conceptual drawings are kind of finalized and then they probably go to somebody else and they put them in a computer and they end up making like a virtual 3d model of that car so then they can finalize exactly, you know, the color, the paint scheme, you know, if it's going to decals, what kind of wheels, you know, all these different things. Once that finalized, then they have to break it apart. And because you got different parts to the car, you've got the plastic interior, you've got the actual die cast metal, which sometimes is a couple of pieces. You got the bottom of it, which is a separate piece. And of course, then the wheels. And sometimes on the outside of the car, you even have other like plastic pieces that go into, you know, like ground effects or, you know, body kit or whatever, you know, different aspects that you would find on a real world car. You know, all of those are probably then made up separate in 3D modeling. Um, you know, some of them, they may even go so far as to actually sculpt it. You know, a lot of times, like with action figures, a lot of times that's what they'll do, they'll sculpt you know, an actual physical clay model of the figure before they actually make molds to, you know, to start producing it. And, you know, that would obviously be the next step with Hot Wheels is they make the molds to cast all the different parts of the Hot Wheel. And then it goes to somebody else and they assemble them. And then, you know, somebody paints them, somebody puts decals on, you know, all these different steps. And then somebody else designs the artwork for the packaging, you know, 
not the only person it is isn't involved in art in some way from concept to when it gets to the store is the delivery driver that's driving it from the Hot Wheels factory to you know the distributors and so forth but every other step of that has art behind it in some way and you know with Hot Wheels it's so amazing because like I said they're toys but they're so detailed and everything but again that applies to essentially anything you know whether it's a you know, a piece of paper this has got art behind it in some way because somebody designed how you know somebody thought up and I mean, it's kind of maybe a stretch to say design but they thought up you know how this is how it's made they programmed to make it print out a certain way you know the logo that it puts on the on the receipt was designed by somebody you know, the laptop I'm using right now, you know, it started out as a conceptual drawing and then probably went through a 3D model and then they started producing it. So, I don't know, I'm rambling, but I just, I like people to actually take, just take a minute and think about, look at the, some of the stuff around you, especially stuff that maybe you collect. And besides looking at, you know, maybe its potential value or just what it is, look at what actually goes into making it what it is and it it's amazing and again if you're somebody that's interested in art stick with it um you know even if you're like me and, and you don't really get to where you can do it and make a living you know find time to just do it on your own i mean like the paintings i got back here i mean sure you know if somebody wanted to buy the things i'd probably sell them uh, or prints are available for those who um society6.com slash navy ncis or um, deviantart.com navy ncis that's my username on both of those sites you can go in there and get prints for all artwork some of the photography i did so sure check that out uh, anyhow without further ado since i'm rambling so much we'll start out with the hot wheels i got a bag full and I'm almost positive I don't have any of these. Can't guarantee that because I've got a lot. Um, but a lot of these are like newer ones that have just come out this year. So most likely I don't have them. So we'll just go through each one and we'll see what I got. Okay, this one is called Bot Wheels. Kind of a futuristic looking, almost reminds me of kind of like a Humvee, kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a cross between like a Humvee and like a, you know, one of those little, you know, one of those little buggies they used on like on the moon. Okay. And then we've got the Embosser. Big kind of like haul truck or a ramp truck, and of course this this is from their uh, it's called the Xperia Motors series. Um, this is number one of ten, so there's ten different ones in this series, and you can see that it's kind of based on like a real world truck. I mean there are trucks out there that resemble that. Um, the ones you see hauling cars, um, but obviously, you know, those don't look exactly like that in real life. They've embellished it a little bit. All right, next. Oh, I love these. I love these cars. I love this series. Um, this is kind of like a cross, kind of a cross series. I mean, this isn't listed in the tuned series t-o-o-n-e-d kind of like like cartoon cars um this was actually part of the hot wheels sports line but it's called surf and turf but it is kind of tuned it's got kind of a cartoony look to it and of course you know it's got the surfer on the side of it and the hw sports logo but i really i really like that one. I've got I think I have one or two of these 
but not this color in this um, that actual car itself all right the next one is called hollow back this is part of the hot wheel glow wheels series number six of ten it basically it is just exactly what you said the wheels on this series um, glow in the dark so you know, it kind of looks like a like souped up maybe almost made for like drag racing all right next we have an actual real world car those were all kind of like fantasy ones so this one is from the factory fresh line this is new for this year number 10 of 10 in the series this is a 1982 Nissan Skyline R30 so uh, that's fucking sharp isn't it Skyline are pretty good cars. I got some get up and go to them. Uh, speaking of, okay, this is one of the tuned, as in cartooned series. This is number three of five. This is the C6 Corvette, and you'll notice, you know, looking at it, why it's kind of tuned. It's got kind of a cartoony look. So, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I was trying to keep an eye out when I was there to see if I could get lucky and find any, like, treasure hunts or super treasure hunts, but I didn't see any that were marked. Um, the actual treasure hunt cars, they have, like, a little, almost like a little flame logo normally on the car somewhere, and you really got to look for it. And the super treasure hunts normally have an actual, like, TH printed on the car somewhere in the graphics or whatever. Um, but they are like really rare to find I mean, unless you're like on the ends with somebody at the stores and knows when they're going to be putting out new cases um, yeah, I mean, you almost have to know ahead of time to be able to get there and, and find them next we got one from the factory fresh is number two of ten this is a Porsche 918 spider so there we go pretty sharp all right next we got the muscle mania always love the muscle cars uh love muscle cars number six of ten this is a 1969 dodge charger 500 i believe i have again one or two of these but i don't have it in this metallic blue i really like that I mean that's just I mean it's just an absolutely beautiful car. Look, I mean that, they just don't make cars like that. I mean the closest thing we got these days, cars like that are some of the ones that Dodge has brought out, you know, the Charger, the Challengers. Especially the Challengers. I mean I think they look they really have that muscle car look. Um the Camaros, the new Camaros have I mean if I was gonna compare the two, I'd say the, the, the Challengers have a, a little bit more of that muscle look compared to like the new Corvettes or uh, you know, the, the Camaros um, but you know back then back when those muscle cars were like in their heyday you know they all had that just beefy look to them all right this is Hot Wheels ride-ons kind of weird no? number five of five I got this one just because it looks so freaking weird. It's called Kick Cart. It's just like a like an open like go kart thing. It's fucking funny looking. That's what it is. All right, next. Oh, this one's beautiful too. I do like trucks. This is part of the uh, Hot Wheels Metro series, number four of ten. This is a 1952 Chevy. Uh, that is one nice looking truck. You know, even the trucks back then had kind of that muscle look to them. Yeah. And I'm not real, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not real fond of pink, but that truck looks fucking good.
All right, next, this is part of the Hot Wheel Daredevils series, number one of five. This is the 1970 Chevelle SS Wagon. And you can see it's all painted and like graffitied up like for a demolition derby. Those were good cars to use in like a demolition derby because they were so... I mean, they, were, they had a lot of weight and a lot of heft to them, but there was also a lot of like space they could actually you know, take hits without you know disabling the vehicle all right this next one is part of the then and now series and that series actually normally consists for each model it consists of two cars one from years back and then one in its current incarnation and obviously this is I'm thinking this is probably what this looks like now this is the now one of the then and now but this is a nissan skyline gtr r33 yeah you can't really see on the camera very well but it's like got like a metallic purple paint on it as you can see it looks quite a bit different than the other skyline that i just had all right, next we got a Legends of Speed, number 6 of 10. This is a 2016 Mercedes AMG G13. All decked out for like, uh, tour racing. All right, let's, I think I got like three more in here. All right, this one is part of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. It's number 5 of 10. It's a 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. Now, I love this because it's got kind of the matte. Um, instead of like the glossy paint, it's got kind of the matte. Um, like gray paint on it with the decals. And the racing stripes. It's really cool. <coughs> Right, next, we got this one's just funny. This is one part of their fast foodie line, number five of five. This is called Buns of Steel. Not the workout video. There we go. Kind of funky looking. I got a, a couple of weird ones in that series. All right, next we've got another speed graphics one. This is number three of ten. This is a Fair Lady 2000. I'm pretty sure I have a Fair Lady model up there, but I'm almost positive it's not this black and red. And it's like the last Hot Wheel we got. Packaging is kind of banged up on this one. That's all right. This is part of their Checkmate series. It's number five of nine. It's called Fandango. And I like it because it looks like it's kind of like almost like a, a Chevy Blazer that's been, you know, tricked out. Um, you know, obviously with body kit and, and the beefier back wheels and stuff. Uh, mine would look similar to that. I mean, obviously not color wise and graphics and everything but I mean as far as like the body styling on it if I could get I've still got my my front bumper cover and my you know my side skirts from my body kit that I had on my old blazer um, sitting back in my bar right now um, I'm hoping maybe didn't get to it this year I'm hoping maybe next year I'll be able to get around to paint them and get them fit on they're supposed to fit on my blade because my current blazer is a 2002 two-door my the blazer I had before was a I think it was a 98 yeah I'm pretty sure it was a, a 1998 um, four-door um, but supposedly the body kit I have is supposed to fit on either one. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. All right, this video is getting long, so we're going to breeze through the uh, 
Funko Pops. And like I said, another thing I'd like to mention about going to FYE is they actually have FYE exclusive Pops. Which obviously, I mean, are meant you can only get them at FYE. So like I said, if those stores are just going out of business, period. You know, it might be a good idea to go get these while you can. First one we got is from The Godfather. FYE exclusive Michael Corleone. Next one is another FYE exclusive. Weird Al Yankovic. And it looks like that's the uh, the outfit. Let's see, you can see his picture on the back. I think that was the the outfit he wore maybe in like the Eat It video, which is modeled after the song Beat It by Michael Jackson. Um, next, this is just standard pop, not exclusive, but it was actually it was, I kind of looked, and this was, I mean, they might have had more behind other ones, but this is the only one i seen of this one. Um, so I grabbed it in case it was the only one they had. We got a Jerry Garcia. My brother would appreciate that one. He's, he's a big Grateful Dead. Alright, next. Another FYE exclusive. This is from Star Wars. That Dr Dryden Voss. And then the last one I got, which will be actually the third in the series I have. Uh, it's from Masters of the Universe. It's FYE exclusive, and it is uh, Trap Jaw. The other two that I have, this. The other two I have from Masters of the Universe. This. They're from like another set. Uh, but they're all masters of the universe, so they kind of all go together. But I have a uh, man at arms and merman, and they're included in a different set because they're not shown on the back of here. But this is yeah, that's you know trap call. So that was it. Uh, like I said, if you're collector of Funko Pops and you like getting exclusive ones from different places. I mean, there's a lot of places that get exclusive Funko Pops now. I think I've seen where even like Walgreens has. I'm almost positive I saw a Funko Pop one time on a video or something that had a the, like the Walgreens exclusive. It said you know it's got it had like the W like the logo exclusive on it. So I might have to go to Walgreens sometime and check check out and see. I never really thought of Walgreens having, so I thought it was like just like a pharmacy. What the hell do I know? I don't think I've ever been in a Walgreens, so check that out. Hey, anyway, that was my my Hot Wheels and my Funko Pop haul from Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Fye. Uh, sorry the video went so long, but hey, you should be used to it by now if you watch my videos. I fucking ramble. Um, I have to. You're the only people I get to talk to. I'm always at work, and when I am home, it's just me and the damn dog. I mean, you know, occasionally my daughter comes over, which I love having her over because we have like-minded, we like the same thing, so it's great. But the rest of the time, hey, this is how I, I have my conversation, is with all of you viewers, which, hell, there might only be you know, a couple of you. I don't know. Eh, that's it. Uh, hey, everybody have a really, really good weekend. If you're here in Ohio, bundle the fuck up because it's only supposed to be like 30 degrees tomorrow. It's going to be nuts. That means I'm going to be staying in a house and just working around the inside of the house. I, mean, I got some more stuff I need to do outside, but screw that. If I have to, I'll wait till next spring to cut like my hostas and stuff back. So um, Tomorrow's going to be spent doing some cleaning and then I got... Some of the stuff, um, so I can hang up a couple, I got a couple of signed guitars and some of my other sports stuff. I got a case for my one football and then baseball and stuff. I'm going to get them mounted and out in the sports bar and, and put up out of the way. So I'm sure I'll have fun with that. All right. 
Take it easy. I'll see you later.